Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 14 of Direwolf20's Age of Engineering series. Just took a nap, slept through the night. Ow, getting shot at by bad guys. Ow, baby zombies. Ow, I hate baby zombies, they're the worst. The skeletons are the second worst. Uh, hey, last episode we set up some cool stuff, didn't we? Uh, I believe that we set up... Oh, look at all these experience orbs that are in here. Why are there so many experience orbs in here? I thought you wouldn't drop experience. You shouldn't be dropping experience, guys. Why you drop experience in there? I thought that that would not be a thing. Not that I'm complaining about free experience, but like... Hey, guys. Not cool. Uh, gonna have to figure that out. Some kind of experience collector would be nice. Uh, I also surrounded this area in cobblestone because I found that cursed earth uh, can spread underneath blocks. So by putting a border of cobblestone around it, it should protect cursed earth from spreading outside. Because uh, it was. So I fixed that. Hooray! Uh, so mobs are spawning. They are generating experience. That's weird. That's weird. Uh, but we've got, you know... Oh, you know what's probably happening? Because our fluid essence is full. That's why that's happening. We are full on mob essence. Well, wouldn't you know. Uh, I bet if we upgrade that tank to uh, an Invar version, that won't happen too much. Uh, hey, Invar, uh, hardened upgrade. So we're going to need some Invar and some bronze gears. That shouldn't be too bad. A little bit of redstone. Joink. Oh, I have to fix that. I upgraded the pack to the latest version, and I have to change some things. So bronze, one copper, three tin is a bronze, and probably a piece of iron. So anything else I need for that? I think that's pretty much it. Induction smelt. Go! Copper and tin, induction smelter. Hello? Bronze ingot. From Thermal Foundation. Oh, I guess we could do that recipe. Oh wait, it's it's three copper and one tin, isn't it? Sorry. I derped that recipe up. But hey, that works. So you to you to you. And then you to you, and that's good. So if we upgrade this tank, we should stop seeing... Hey look, it picked it all up. Cool! Alright, today I learned a new thing. Uh, the Mob Crusher picks up experience orbs to fill up its fluid essence. So if the internal fluid essence is full, that's kind of neat. I was unaware that it worked that way. Super spiffy. So I'm learning new things about this mod, clearly. And wow, we've got six ender pearls already? Nuts to spawning Endermen. We're like, our cup runneth over. We've got Ender Pearls for days. All right, that's not necessarily true, but wow, look at all the solidified experience too. That's cool. And we've got Blizz Rods. That's cool. So Blizzes are spawning in there and dying. That is super cool because we can use Blizz Rods for some really good stuff. Um, specifically, who knows what? Some things and whatnot. I like it. All right, um, so surprisingly, our whole base is running just fine on this compression dynamo of refined fuel. Uh, I have been throwing coal in there every now and then uh, to get pulverized, just a stack now and again to refill the internal buffer, but it's actually we're not using all that much power, it seems, which is, which is super nice. Um, but we don't really have a lot going on either right now, and we will probably have some more going on soon. So let's do this. Uh, do we want to set up an Enderman spawner? Or do we want to do something else? It's a good question. Uh, if we want to do an Enderman spawner, that would be a good way to get Ender Pearls, but there's other things we can do. Let's come back in a minute once I decide. All right, guys. Uh, so I came up with a plan of something I'd like to do. Let's go on a little adventure, shall we? Uh, you can see I've got a bunch of junk in my inventory. Mostly like uh, I, I farmed a bunch of wheat. Why? Uh, we'll find out in a minute. First, though, uh, I would like to go and visit that island, which I see up there. Uh, so there's a few things we're going to need to do. Uh, I would like to get my mob duplicator up and running. Uh, and the reason I decided to do that is there's probably a large number of mob drops I wouldn't mind getting a bunch of. Um, you know, Ender Pearls being one, but there's others I wouldn't mind being able to duplicate, like, I don't know, 
let's say, blaze rods. You might want more of those at some point. And and having a, a, the ability to on-demand spawn a bunch of stuff would be cool. One thing I'd like to have, though, is a, is a slime. A bit of slime. For somewhat unrelated purposes. So we're going to try and make our way up to that slime island that's way up there. Um, so we're going to derp pillar our way up. So that shouldn't be too bad of a process to get up there. And I do have my little wand thingy, which I could totally, you know, manage to do stuff with. But we'll see. That wand, I don't know. I will I will die if I fall from this site, because I don't have anything to protect my fall damage with yet. Psst, I'm going to get slime. What do you think it's for? Something that might help me with fall damage? I don't know. Oh, there's no tree. Oh, there is a tree up here. Nice. All right, cool. Uh, did I bring my axe? I totally brought my axe. Are you cool enough? No, you're not cool enough. Yay, slime. Saplings. Saplings for days. And hey, purple slime. That's good stuff. I'm going to collect it. I think I'm going to collect it off camera, though. And back down the derp pillar we go. All right, making our way back to the base. One thing that I constantly deal with is a little bit of fall damage, which is no fun for anybody. Oh, boy, that's going to hurt. Oh, fall damage for the lose. We're going to solve that right now with the slime that we just collected. Uh, two things I want to make. Uh, and to get along with that, we're probably going to need a little bit of string as well. So there should be some in here. Let's put away you guys. I don't need you for the moment, but I'll take the string that I've got. Uh, we're definitely going to want to convert you into some number of slime balls. Probably that many. I want slime boots. Right? So one pair of those. And I'm also going to want a slime sling. These are two really amazing ways to get around town. Uh, they are great, and I'm excited to be able to make them right now for you guys to see what it's up. Uh, and I'll probably even go outside and plant my blue slimy saplings somewhere in a relatively harmless area. Oh, that's right, they have to be planted on slimy dirt and grass. Slimy dirt. I knew that. Green slimy dirt. Isn't there a recipe for that? I thought there was a recipe for it. There might be some on top of that pillar. We'll investigate that in a bit. Hey, let's try out our slime sling, shall we? So wearing these boots protect you from fall damage which is awesome. And hold right click and release, boing, to bounce around the world. <laughs> That's awesome. It is a lot of fun and it is a great way to get around town. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get some slimy dirt. Choing. I can't really quite get that high with it, but I'm gonna dirt pillar my way back up uh, and, and get some dirt from up there and then we'll be back. I could have sworn there was a slimy dirt recipe, but maybe not. Here we go, we'll get some of this purple slimy dirt. It should be fine, I think I can plant. I totally can. Nice. So I can plant these saplings on this purple slimy dirt, uh, which we are currently getting. Nice. All right. So just a bit should be plenty. I don't think I have an excavator on me, do I? I do. Hooray. That's even better. Beautiful. Now, technically, if I want, I could totally just jump off this platform and survive, uh, which is what I'm going to do. Goodbye, cruel world. Boing. No fall damage, remember? <laughs> uh, by the way, if you want to stop bouncing, you can hit shift uh, and it will immediately stop your bounce, but you will take a little bit of damage for doing that. So by holding shift, ow, like I said, a little bit of damage. Great way to get around town. Loving it. Uh, so that's going to help me get over to my village uh, where I need to be uh, very shortly. So let's plant these saplings that I got so we can have a little bit more green slime easily accessible to us. The next thing I need to do is get some emeralds. So we're going to replace you, my good sir, with some green slimy dirt. And we'll put another green slimy dirt like right over here. -ish. Cool. And hey, another ender pearl. Woot. Loving it. Uh, curious how many ender pearls I have collected in my recent time with this thing running the whole way it's been running. Oh, 10 ender pearls? It's amazing. I love it. 
Loving everything about it. Uh, at some point, I'll set up some kind of auto deletion filtery thing for things like bows and whatnot. Uh, let me also make sure that we are chunk loading this area. We are not. Is that to chunk load it? Claim chunks loaded chunks. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Yeah, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. So that's all chunk loaded now, and that's good. So that means we'll have that thing running when I'm not nearby. Uh, almost nighttime, so I want to sleep through the night before I head for the village, where I'm going to bring some rotten flesh and some wheat in hopes of finding myself some emeralds. Be right back. All right, now that we've slept through the night and it is freshly morning, let's uh, yeah, let's head in this general direction. So we basically want to head that way. So your best bet is to face the opposite direction and bounce yourself up, not into a tree. That's going to be the hardest part is getting over the foliage here, but we'll see what we can manage to do. If I can get on top of the trees, we should be cool. So generally this way would be nice. Boing. All the boinging. It's not the most direct and precise way to travel, but you know what? It is definitely faster than walking. That is for sure. So where am I in relation to my village? I'm here, the village continues to be that direction. So let's get to like a relatively, it's a lot easier to do in like a desert or a field type environment. Now, I remember them definitely being off in this direction, right? Is it pretty much due north of where I'm at? No, nope, continuing off in that direction. Okay. Yeah, through all this dense foliage, it's not the best travel mechanic. We will have to come up with something better sooner than later. Hey, there they are. Nice. We can probably run the rest of the way. Uh, so what I'm looking for is emeralds, because uh, I want more ender pearls. Hey, wolf. What's up, dude? My brother's. Uh, more under pearls and and more blaze rods and more anything else that we want. And in order to get that, we're going to want FYI. This is why I'm going to get emeralds. We're going to need the mob duplicator, which requires two emeralds. So let's trade up a bunch of emeralds from any villagers we can find. Uh, I can hear them saying "mer," so they must be around here somewhere. Mer. Back in a few minutes, once I find a decent villager, you will give me a void. No, that's not what I want at all. Yeah, this is the actually additions villager. I want somebody who'll trade me like wheat and whatnot. String? Okay, that's cool. Neat. Different string, wool, leather. I do probably have some leather at home. Wow, a lot of you guys want to trade string. That's like the one thing I didn't bring to. I brought a little bit, but more string? Come on. Settle down with your string demands. How about we just talk uh, wheat and zombie flesh? Because I know some of you guys are going to trade that. All right, back in a minute once I've uh, found a decent villager. Here's one that does wheat. Nice. Okay, so we'll put... Cool. So that was good. Any of you guys want to trade zombie flesh by chance? Potatoes? All right, I'll, I'll, I'll do a potato. The farmer's a good tradesman. I like him. I like him a lot. Ooh, carrots now. You open up a lot of stuff, huh? Pumpkins. Neat. I did, by the way, bring this so that I could watering can some of their crops and have a better time trading with them. Thought that was a smart move. All right, approaching our home. Hooray! Uh, so what I'm going to do is drop off some of these emeralds, and let's try and make the thing we want to make. Uh, so let's turn off that waypoint. And uh, the thing we want to make, you can go away, you can all go away. That's good, yeah. Uh, so we're gonna want to keep two emeralds. Do we have room in the whitelist of the gems chest for emeralds? We do not, it is full. So you know what, you can go to the rest of this junk for now until we get a better and more organized sorting system. Uh, mob drops might have some magma cream. Maybe not. Guessing not. Uh, magma cream. Do we have any? Looking like a no. But that's okay, we can make some. Uh, so for the mob duplicator, we're going to want some plastic and nether wart, which I know we have. Uh, 
emeralds we just got machine that thing's iron and redstone and wood so nine and four iron so i'm pretty sure if i throw a blaze rod into a pulverizer uh we will get a better output instead of two we got four with the potential to get sulfur so that's neat um and then we can turn you guys into the magma cream we need so then the only other thing we need for a mob duplicator is the two plastic uh which comes from smelting dry rubber and we should have a decent amount of that available down here right tiny dry rubber i'll grab three stacks of those and let it continue to process more you can be converted into dry rubber and then you can be smelted and that should be cool nice so now we should have a mob duplication factory which will allow us to duplicate endermen for the cost of rf power and that liquid that we're creating outside what's it called mob essence right so that's cool uh mob essence so we also need a mob imprisonment tool so for that uh, we're going to need some plastic and a gas tier. Hopefully, I've got two gas tiers, so that should be good. Uh, so then a few pieces of plastic. Mob imprisonment tool is check. We can use this to pick up any mob and uh, place it back down. And what we'll need to do is get a mob, capture him in this thing, and then we insert him into the machine, we pipe some liquid into it, and we're good to go. So let's, uh, luckily it's nighttime, so perfect timing. Uh, let's get an enderman trapped in this machine and uh we should be able to start spawning them and then maybe we'll get another one for blazes and what my plan is is to get a bunch of mob imprisonment tools for all the different types of mobs that we might want to have multiples of so all i have to do is find an enderman that spawns i'll give a good look at him and he'll be like oh you're looking at me and i'm a terrible creature who doesn't like being looked at and then they'll come over to me and then i'll capture him and then i will use him to spawn endless numbers of his friends to slaughter and collect lots and lots of ender pearls all in the name of science safe and they won't mind i promise i'm lying all right uh creeper no blitz no zombies no i totally want enderman didn't i change my option here by the way i did upgrade my pack so mini map preset one mob display small icons ah much better spiders and all kinds of nasty things hey an enderman Buddy. He's like, ah, oh, you're looking at me, and I right-click him, and now I have one. Ha! <laughs> I've got an Enderman trapped in there. Ha 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 ha! Look at that. There he is. All right, uh, I'm gonna sleep through the night and come back in a few minutes uh, when we're ready to set this thing up. I'm also gonna make sure I have power and fluid transfer into this machine because that's what I'm gonna need. Cool. Back in a moment. So here's a cool thing we can make, by the way. With these guys smelted together, we can get Signalum Plated Fluid Duct, which transfers both fluids and redstone flocks. Um, all we need to do is come over here and hit this button. I need three hardened fluid duct. Isn't that what I got? Oh, I got regular fluid ducts. My bad. Uh, three hardened fluid ducts, which require Invar and hardened glass. So we might have some hardened glass in here. Would we use it all? We might have used it all. So let's get uh, some obsidian. Which, did I use it all? Might have used it all. I think we're out of obsidian and hardened fluid ducts. Neither of which is a good time. So we'll be back in a minute when I get all that stuff. To-do list, uh, more obsidian. Oh, I have such a to-do list, let me tell you guys. It's insane how much of a to-do list I have. Uh, I also want to get an extra utilities really soon. Because there's like some things I'd like to do there. Uh, I don't know. All kinds of stuff that I need to get to. Uh, but that should be the obsidian I need, and then a little bit of lead. Forget how much I need, but we'll figure it out. Uh, so you can get pulverized, and then we'll want the invar, which I might have some of. Oh, I have just enough. An induction smelter, you and you. Nice. Perfect. So hardened fluid duct can become a signalum plated fluid duct. 
for not too much of an expense. And the rest of the stuff can be sorted. You, you. Hardened, I don't need. Signalum, I do. Leadstone, we're going to want to keep. And the other thing we're going to want to grab is our fluid ducts. Because that liquid isn't hot, so we can just use regular fluid ducts for it and we'll be fine. All right, outside we go. Let's see if we can get this Enderman spawner up and running. So to get this working, first off, I'm going to turn lights on in here. Hey, Creeper. What are you doing back here? Just chilling? Is it dark there? Uh, not during the day. Lots of people are commenting that I should put torches around my base. And my response to that is, what? So here's the thing I want to check real quick. Uh, mob duplicator, what's your functioning radius at? Show working area? That's a really big working area. That is one, two, three, four blocks out. Uh, that is bigger than I want you to be, Mr. Dude. Mr. Working Area Guy. That's one thing that always bothered me about MFR and is now bothering me <laughs> about industrial foregoing. Uh, the radius at which this machine works is larger than the radius at which the mob crusher works. And these two are pretty much meant to work together. Um, unless you think I should be using the mob slaughter factory, but that's for uh, not, that's, that's for like animals. Liquid meat, yeah. So. So if I show working area on you, you're gonna working area outside this room that I have encased. And that's not cool. So that means I either have to double encase the walls to prevent him from spawning outside this area. Um, he's gonna go into the ground, one block down. So I could just put like blocks right around, right? So what we're gonna do is basically remove some cursed earth here. Right, and this is power, and that's a signal and plated fluid duct, and that's going into the tank, right? So we're gonna wanna manage that a little bit. So how are you going in right now? The, the, the top, okay. <coughs> so what I'm thinking we might wanna do is, so that's a fluid duct that's being piped out. We might want to, that's a signal and plated item duct. That's an item duct. We might want to move that down, but then we'd kind of be in the way of our item transfer system, which might be a nuisance. Uh, how do we want to manage that guy? Just trying to think from a logistical point of view. So I could loop him around here. Because ultimately I would want to have this guy be the tank, and then we could route the fluids that way. That would probably be the smart way to do it. Uh, you are a signal, you're a regular item duct, and you're an item duct. So if I got more item ducts, I'd be able to do this no problem. Item ducts. It requires a little bit of dire wire, but I'm sure you'll all forgive me. Uh, so ultimately, what I'd want to do is item duct it this way. So that I can then remove you and you. You would be picked up and placed here. So that the fluid goes into the top of this thing. And then what I would want is regular fluid ducts and I'm not comfortable with cursed earth being under here so I'm gonna try and replace most of this stuff with cobble to prevent cursed earth from spreading in a nasty way so here is where I'm gonna want my mob guy right uh, and we're going to want signalum plated fluid ducts here now what I could have If this was one more signal and plated fluid duct, which I want it to be, uh, we'd be in like super conveniently good space. So let's get another signalum. Um, 
I had an extra Electrum, didn't I? Where'd my extra Electrum go? Did I use it? Oh well, we'll just make a new one. No big deal. Oh, here it went. Why is Electrum going in there? I'm gonna have to investigate that. Because you shouldn't be going in there. Unless I put it in there by mistake, and that would be my derp. Uh, hardened fluid ducts. I think I've got a few of... Good. So you can just be made into that. So then what we'll pipe here... I'd really like you to be... No, you're fine. So we do that, and then we break this connection. Because you are a signal and plated item duct. Okay. And then an item duct will go here across that. Which should be fine. So then we'll have fluids and power flowing this way as soon as I do that. Cool. So that machine should now be getting both power and mob essence. And the mob essence is coming from the tank. And the tank is getting filled up by the mob crusher. Sweet. Okay. Uh, so that's all good. I wouldn't mind maybe item ducting this in a way that's not terribly ugly, but it's going to be ugly no matter what I do, really. That and that cleans it up halfway decently. Not not beautiful, but gets the job done. The old for now method of things. So that's cool. So we can see how full the tank is. We can still get our items, right? You're still routing properly. Yeah, that looks good to me. Uh, and we should be cool. So that should fully work now. The only other thing we're gonna have to deal with is the fact that the working area is gonna extend out around here. So if we really wanna be super smart and careful about it and prevent mobs from spawning outside this area, what we'll probably wanna do is something like this. And that will prevent Endermen from spawning around this area. So they could technically spawn here. Um, we'll stop that like that. And then the only other thing we're gonna need is to put, so right now, is he is he allowed to run? Always active, active on redstone signal, active without redstone. So I'm going to put active on redstone signal. We will get a lever for this guy. Cool. Uh, and we can turn off your working area thing. And so now he won't run unless he's got a redstone signal. So we just put this guy in here. That tells him what to spawn. And now if we give it a redstone signal... Oh, hey, it worked already. Beautiful. How cool is that? I love it. Ender pearls for days. So we've got 12 in there at the moment. Nice. That is amazing. And remember, that lever controls the enderman. 14 ender pearls. Beautiful! We've got enderman farming. And we can easily just swap out that mob item thingy in there. And, uh, oh, look at you guys escaping. You shouldn't be able to get out, theoretically. I do feel like there's like an awful lot of these guys chilling out here, though. Don't you guys feel like there's an awful lot of these guys chilling out here? I mean, granted, it's becoming nighttime. They shouldn't be able to tell us about the room, right? I feel, like I feel like this room is not perfect in terms of enderman trappage. We may have to adjust some things. I'm going to turn you off for a minute. So that's using a bunch of the mob essence, by the way, but we should have gotten a decent amount. Oh, wow. Look at all the ender pearls we got. So that used up a good amount of what, what was in the tank, which is fine. Um... If we turn the lights back off in there, we'll go back to having a regular mob spawn. That will get us more mob essence. Cool? All right. 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and call this a good wrapping up point for the episode. Wow, there's a lot of Endermen around here. Either they're displeased with what I'm doing, <laughs> which is possible, uh, or uh, they are spawning in a very weird way. Uh, they might be spawning outside the bounds of that room, which would not be super ideal for me. Um, so I might need to expand that room just a little bit uh, to deal with the potential. And it might be a height issue. Maybe if I brought the height of the room up a little bit, it would be okay. But I don't know. I'm going to work on it between episodes and see what I can figure out. But for now, at least we have like a decent amount of ender pearls. Look at that. That is beautiful. I will take it. Uh, so for now, I'll just let like regular dark room spawning occur and get more mob essence. If we are in a dire need for more ender pearls, no pun intended, I know dire. But um, if we need that, then yeah, I'll call these guys just like, hey, I'm going to teleport around and be an enderman. If we need to get more ender pearls, uh, I can flip that switch and it'll spawn enderman. Uh, might have to make the room a little bit uh, more appropriately sized. That should be too big a deal. For now, put away all my stuff that I don't need. And we'll come back next episode and work on some more things. For now, Daryl20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Take it easy.